My name is Jael Amara and I'm a gender and research consultant. The project on working conditions with ICOCA was conducted in three countries in East Africa, that is Kenya, Uganda and Tanzania. This was the first time something like this was being done. It was a quantitative study and we did some in-depth interviews just to understand some of the parameters that we could not um, explain from the numbers. And this study was um, having a sample of a thousand approximately for each of the countries. We looked at male and female security guards, mostly male because uh, private security is male dominated. So it was 70% male and 30% female. When we look at the outcomes from this study, we did see that security guards often do not have um, contracts. And when they don't have contract, it essentially means that they're not able to ask for their dues when it's needed. And that brings to the second question of pay. Pay was a big issue. For example, like Kenya, when many were not being paid up to minimum wage. And countries like Uganda, we are aware that they are at the extreme where they do not have minimum wage at all. And so when you look at Kenya, Uganda and Tanzania combined, one of the uh, common thing across board was the pay was low. Sometimes it didn't come on time and there were companies that did not pay at all. And we know in working conditions that if you don't pay me, then I'm more likely to commit crimes. And therefore, we found that there was a correlation between mental health, being stressed, long working hours. Some of the guards were working seven days a week and were quite stressed out because uh, sometimes their relievers didn't come. And instead of working 12 hours, you then ended up working 24 hours and no overpay. So there are quite a lot of challenges that's happening in this industry that this study brought out. Often sexual harassment is one of those things that is not talked about. And so we find that in many uh, jurisdictions, people are not saying what's happening in, in that space. There's fear, there's fear of ridicule, there's fear that um, you'll be the victim for reporting. And then there's fear that everybody is going to know that something happened to you that is not good. One of the things that I've been doing is capacity building in the gender space, basically training and just understanding where do organizations sit in private sector and how can they influence in the gender space from where you are seated. What is it that you're able to do, taking one step at a time so that we can change this narrative?